Hey everybody, this is Dr. Michael Cuthbertson at PhysioFit, and I'm going to show you two mobility exercises to open up your thoracic spine and improve your posture. For this first exercise, we're going to cover improving the extension of the thoracic spine. You need a surface, a bench, or, or something similar to it, about um, upper thigh to belly button level. For this exercise, you're going to place your elbows on the bench, clasp your hands together, and you're going to place your hands behind your head. I like to kind of cradle my head between my hands. You're going to bring your knees back, and to initiate this exercise, you're going to sit back toward your heels and then push your, your chest toward the ground. So the farther back and away your knees are from the surface that your elbows are on, the higher up the back that you're going to target this motion. So if your knees are closer, you're probably going to target closer to the low back area. So you want to have some distance between you and the bench. So you're going to sit back toward your heels and push your chest toward the floor and then you're going to come back up to a rounded position. As you do this, you want to time your breathing with the motion. I like to encourage you to, to breathe out through your nose on the way down, and breathe in through your nose on the way up. And do this motion slowly, not forcing anything. After you've done that, Again, for that 15, 20, or however many repetitions that you need to get in to feel like that's freed up. On the last repetition, go ahead and go down toward the bottom through that extension motion and slowly breathe in and out through your nose. And ease down into that position to get as much mobility as you can without forcing anything. Depending upon you where you have the greatest limitation, you might feel more of a stretch through here, uh, through the lats and the shoulders and triceps. You might even feel it through the abdomen, or you could feel it mostly in the middle of the back, in the thoracic spine. All of those are okay areas to fill it in because we're targeting each of those areas to improve the mobility. For the second exercise, we're going to cover thoracic spine rotation. We addressed extension first, and that's an important thing to note in this sequence because without efficient extension of the thoracic spine, we really can't optimize and get our best, the most rotation that we're looking for. We also get benefits of this exercise, shoulder mobility and neck mobility. So to set up, you want to have your shoulder against the wall your inside knee down, and your outside foot on the ground. Your inside arm will start on the wall and then you'll match it. And with this exercise, you're gonna slide your forward, your inside hand forward, and your outside hand is gonna come back like you're pulling a bow. Your eyes will follow your hand, and then you'll take it back to the wall. You'll come forward, and on that forward motion you want to slide that hand past so that you get the advantage and benefits of working on the inside shoulder mobility. Slide it back, eyes follow your hand, chin stays down, and repeat this motion. You want to do this 10-15 times, you can do it even more. Work on it until you feel like you have that motion completely freed up and you feel nice and loose and you can move that through that easily. These exercises will help to decrease the rigidity of your rigid thoracic spine and rib cage and help to open up your posture. Let us know in the comments how they helped you. Don't forget to like and subscribe and remember your potential is within reach.